I'm Chiping Liu from Simon's Institute. Today I will talk about the work Unifying Principling via Concentration Bonds. This is a joint work with Xiao Guo, Qian Li, and Jia Peng Zhang. We to start by looking at a famous example of practical hash function, char 3. The key building block is the function in the picture. The function seems very random and achieves pretty good performance in practice. However, it is very hard to analyze even for the most fundamental properties like collision resistance and one-wayness. To deal with the difficulty in analyzing the security, Belair and Rogaway observed that the random oracle model captures the most real-world attacks. Many of the most efficient schemes, including those that are currently being standardized, only have random oracle proofs. Random oracle model assumes the best way you can use an ideal flash function is by looking at its input and output behaviors, nothing about its code and structure. And the input and output behaviors are kind of random. Random Oracle model has many important cryptographic properties, including one-wayness and collision resistance. Security bonds in idealized models provide essential and heuristic justification and guidelines for their security in the standard model. However, Traditional idealized models fail to capture pre-processing attacks. The obtained bonds in idealized models are inaccurate, are not applicable at all once pre-processing is allowed. One famous example is pre-image finding. When no pre-processing is allowed, it is easy to see that it requires roughly um, theta n queries to invert an image. But when pre-processing is allowed, the queries go down to n to the two-thirds. Let's look at the formal definition of idealized models with preprocessing. For this talk, let us focus on the random oracle model. When adversary in the random oracle model is allowed to do preprocessing, we call such model ox input random oracle model or AI ROM. There are two phases in the model. The first one is called the offline phase. An unbounded adversary can arbitrarily interact with a random oracle making unbounded queries. But at the end of the day, it produces a piece of advice of length s. Then, in the online phase, another algorithm tries to win a security game. It gets the advice from the offline phase and the challenge. Then, it makes at most t queries, and the goal is to output a valid answer. The reason to think about this offline procedure is because it captures the more realistic attacks, or in other words, non-uniform attacks, when, uh, where you can think of the advice is generated in a non-uniform way. Another reason is that usually it is crucial to answer online queries efficiently. For example, a hacker needs to respond to a server in a short period of time. The offline phase is allowed to take a while as the hash function is public and everyone could spend a lot of time analyzing that function. We then define security in the AI ROM, which is simply the security against aspects of, of advice and t-queries. Although this model captures the more realistic attacks, it is usually more difficult to work with, especially to prove its ST security. There are a couple of techniques for analyzing security in the AI ROM. As you may tell from the title, in this work, we will focus on pre-sampling. It gives simple and intuitive analysis comparing to other techniques. The intuition behind the pre-sampling technique is as follows. Although the advice can be an arbitrary function of the random oracle, for example, it may be an XOR of all outputs. For now, let's assume it is well-structured. In other words, it only stores S input and output pairs of the random oracle. Therefore, for an online adversary, it only knows these fixed coordinates, but nothing else. Thus, the security is easy to analyze as long as the challenge avoids these coordinates. And informally, pre-sampling technique says that the advantage of any complicated advice is at most the advantage of some uh, longer and well-structured advice. And let's uh, look at the statement more formally. We first define peak fixing model. An oracle is arbitrarily fixed on at most p coordinates, which is chosen by the attacker in the offline phase. 
and the remaining coordinates are chosen at random and independently of the fixed coordinates. This is also easy to define security in the bit fixing model. In other words, um, an oracle is sampled as follows. First, the output are arbitrarily fixed on p coordinates by the attacker, and then the remaining coordinates are sampled by the challenger. The pre-sampling theorem says that let epsilon prime be the maximum success probability of breaking an application in the AI realm, and it will be at most epsilon prime plus st over p. Well, this epsilon prime is the maximum success probability in the corresponding p-bit fixing uh, random oracle model. And when p is roughly s uh, times t, then epsilon is at most 2 times epsilon prime. Note that the first bound is additive and therefore works better with indistinguishability gain. Um, the second bound is multiplicative, which works better with unpredictable games. Here we show an example that using pre-sampling theorem to argue security in the AI realm. We consider a pre-image finding. To prove the security epsilon in the AI realm, we only need to care about its security in the p-bit fixing realm. If the challenge y, which is the image to be inverted, is in these fixed coordinates, then the problem is easy to solve. Because that only happens um, because there are at most p fixed coordinates, this would only happen with probability at most p over n. And otherwise, these prefix coordinates do not help invert per image y. And by making uh, at most t queries, the advantage will be at most t over n. And therefore, the security in the p bit fixing realm is at most p plus t over n. With the multiplicative pre-sampling theorem, by setting p equals to s times t, we have epsilon is roughly st over n. This is the best known lower bound for pre-image finding in the AI realm. And now, let's switch to the quantum world. In the quantum world, random oracles are the same, which is a random function draw at the very beginning of the game. The only difference is that the interaction between algorithms and random oracles. Since a quantum algorithm can implement a practical hash function, for example, uh, SHA-3 on its own quantum device, it is very natural to assume it can make superposition queries to the random oracle. It is also natural to define ox input quantum random oracle model. Well, both the offline and online algorithms can be quantum, and a device can be either classical or quantum. In this work, we are particularly interested in the case where the device is classical and the algorithms is quantum. As we have seen the simplicity and tightness of pre-sampling techniques in the classical setting, we ask the following question. Can we leverage pre-sampling techniques to the quantum setting? In this work, we answer the question in three different aspects. First, we realize that direct leveraging is difficult. We show that if a direct leveraging would work, then it apply, implies the famous Arison and Banis conjecture is true. The conjecture asserts that any quantum algorithm on unstructured inputs can be approximated on most inputs by an efficient classical algorithm. This open problem, dating back to 1999, or earlier was included twice in Arison's list of 10 semi-grand challenges for quantum computing theory. The conjecture is still quite open, and the best known bound is exponentially far from conjecture. Faced with this barrier, we revisit the pre-sampling techniques in the classical setting. We find there is a much simpler proof for the previous pre-sampling theorem. We redefine bit-fixing random oracle model and work out a simpler and a unified proof with only standard concentration bounds. The proof gives tight theorems of previous works for both AI random oracle model and AI random permutation model. And finally, with the new definition of bit fixing model, 
we adapt it to the quantum bit fixing model. We show that with the new definition, we can prove a quantum version of the pre-sampling theorem. And furthermore, it is optimum in the sense that it matches the optimum classical bound. And finally, we show the simplicity and the generality of our theorem. We reprove previous results on non-uniform security and gave the first non-trivial post-quantum non-uniform security of merkel damgaard hash functions. Next, we overview these results. Let us record the classical definition of bit-fixing random oracle model. Well, an oracle is fixed on at most p coordinates, and then the remaining coordinates are chosen at random. It is natural to adapt the definition and propose the bit-fixing quantum random oracle model. Well, p coordinates are fixed classically. Then the game is played with the quantum online algorithms and the oracle. With this proposed definition, we want to prove the following theorem, which we call a direct leveraging of the classical pre-sampling theorem. The, uh, the theorem says the advantage in the ARQ ROM is bounded by the advantage in the PBFQ ROM plus an additive term, which is ST over P. If the theorem could be proved, we would have an intuitive and easy way to analyze post-quantum non-uniform security in the random oracle model, just like what we did for the classical setting. However, as our first result point out, we show that such a theorem would imply the famous Arison and Bynes conjecture. Thus, we believe such a direct leveraging has a barrier. Faced with this barrier, we revisit the definition of PBF ROM and the pre-sampling theorem. We show the following definition is equivalent. Well, an oracle is sampled through the following rejection sampling procedure. Let uh, f be a p-query classical algorithm. Then the challenger keeps sampling a uniformly random hash function h until the function f on h outputs 1. Then the, the game is played with an online adversary and this hash function h. With this definition, we can easily generalize to other idealized models, like random permutation model. It is simply a rejection sampling of a random permutation conditioned on some p-query function output 1. With this definition, we give a unified and simpler proof for both pre-sampling of random oracles and random permutations using only standard concentration bounds. This is the second result of our work. Now let us look at the roadmap for the proofs of pre-sampling theorem. In the previous work, they first, define, uh, they first show the security in the AI model can be bounded by the security in the dense oracle model. Then they argue dense oracle model are very close to bit fixing model. In this work, we show that by proposing an uh, equivalent definition, we can prove it directly and only rely on standard concentration bounds without decomposing the distribution and working in the dense oracle model. We can even generalize to the quantum setting. The quantum bit fixing random oracle model is defined as a rejection sampling of a random function condition on some p-query quantum algorithm outputs 1. We can think about it in the classical bit-fixing model, both f and online adversaries are classical. In the attempt quantum bit-fixing model, f is still classical and the only adversaries are quantum. And in our uh, mm -hmm. real bit-fixing quantum random oracle model, both f and online adversaries are quantum. With this definition, we show our quantum pre-sampling theorem, which simply follows from our classical proof. The bond is optimum in the sense that it matches the optimum classical bond. And this is our third result. Finally, we give several applications that show the simplicity and the generality of our quantum pre-sampling theorem. 
we first reprove the best known bound for pre-image finding in the AIQ realm. Second, we show the first non-trivial bound for the non-uniform security of the famous Merkle Demgard hash functions. We show its ST security in the AIQ realm is ST cube over n. The best known attack achieves ST square plus T cube over n. We believe further closing the gap is an intriguing question. That's everything I want to talk about. Thanks.